Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing how to bring your A axis to life. Many of you already realize once you've gotten into Mach 3, jogging off of the three uh, axis X, Y, and Z is not a problem. What you find is that your A axis really doesn't have any keys associated with it, or you are finding out the hard way where you get in and it's the first time in Mach and you're not seeing your ability to jog the A axis. The reason that is, is we haven't allocated a actual key set to control the jogging of this axis. So the first thing we want to do is come over to config. We want to go to our uh, ports and pins. We want to make sure that our motor outputs are set correctly, meaning that the A axis is enabled. And you can see here it is with the, you want to have a green check. Make sure your step and direction pins are allocated correctly to that drive so we can send our step and direction signals correctly to it. And of course, make sure our step port and direction port are also allocated correctly to, once again, send signals to the drive. Once we do that, we click OK. Once we reset the reset, we're going to come back over to config, and we want to come over here to where it says system hotkeys. Now, in order to set our hotkeys up, you can see we have our A forward slash U plus and A forward slash U minus. This is to allocate a key set for our A axis. This will control it in sense of jogging. So what we want to do is make sure that whatever key you're going to allocate to, you're not already using for a separate function in mock or you're going to reprogram that function, meaning that it will no longer be what it was set at default. Not a big deal, but just something to pay attention to. Now, over here, if we want to set A, I'm going to do it arbitrarily just to get us motion. I'm going to click on this. It says press any key. On your keyboard then, you will select the key that you want to, once again, jog the A axis in the positive direction. That's what that U plus stands for. So my keyboard, just arbitrarily, I'm going to select on my number keypad 4 and then on, my, on the U minus to jog her in the negative direction, I'm going to select on my number keyboard 6. And that's all there is to it. Click OK. And if I press 4, you can see I'm jogging in the positive motion. If I press 6, I'm jogging in the negative motion. And you're all set. Now, again, uh, once again, clicking go to zero brings everything back to zero. Uh, doing this is really only going to be required on the most sense if you guys are running a fourth axis. If you're not running a fourth axis, you don't have to worry about this, but some guys just want to make sure everything is enabled. So again, now you know how to do it. I hope the video has been helpful. Thank you all for your support. If you guys have questions or require quotes, once again, contact me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com, or you can contact me through my eBay store. Again, I'll put the video, or excuse me, the links in the description, and you guys will be all set. Thank you all. Take care.